has the ability to see both lanes and know who's behind him. He and Ewing seem to have that ability to communicate without actually saying it. Two and a half gone by in the second quarter. Ewing stripped. Mustaf, who just checked in, able to hit, and he was fouled. Gerard Mustaf, the rookie from Maryland, who in recent games has been going as the backup center, but now John McLeod using him at a forward position. Patrick with the big strides, loses, but Gerard, right place at the right time, follows it up. That's what he needs to do. Give him a little bit of that garbage offense. Edwards on the foul will be back in a moment. They must soon realize that not only are you ahead sometimes, but many times, often in this league, behind, you have to find a way to win when you're down in games. Delay as they reset the shot clock down to 10 on the 24. Mustaf. Gerard Mustaf going glass with a fling and able to hit the Pistons with a 26-25 lead. Pistons with a 30. 29 lead, 7.24 to go in this first half. Since the Knicks were down 23-14, the Knicks in the midst of a 15-7 run. Coincidental with the entrance of Mark Jackson, things have turned around. The force by Mustaf, but he's able to rebound and hit. Gerard Mustaf with one of his more impressive performances. He now has six points. on the 24. Mustaf around Lane Beer. Nice move for the 6'10 rookie. Catches Lane Beer out wide. Just takes him off the dribble to the basket. And he is 5 for 5 from the field. This is a most unlikely occurrence. The Knicks with a wipeout as Mustaf does it again and that equals his career high. He has 12. A wipeout of the defending NBA champion Detroit Pistons.